Welcome to Final Render for Marion. In this video tutorial, we will talk about how to set up Corsic effects in Final Render for Marion. To follow along, you need the latest patch of Final Render. This tutorial will only work when you install the latest patch. The download link for the patch is in the description. Before we start, let's have a look at the scene. The scene is pretty simple. We have a camera, a light, and some objects and a floor. The objects are glass spheres and what we want to achieve is a photorealistic look with caustic effects in the shadow areas, light shining through the glass spheres and focusing on a point on the floor. To achieve that we have to uh, make sure several settings are right in Final Render for Maya. So the most important thing is let's just have a, a test render. So by default, the shadows will look just transparent. So that's not a real uh, realistic look. It looks computer generated. It's just the flat uh, transparency uh, picking the color. So what we want to achieve is the real photoreal effect of caustics, defining our shadows or focal points and illuminating the shadow areas by focusing light beams on the floor. So to achieve that, the first step we need to make sure is that our objects are set to caustic shadows. We do that in our final render architecture material that has the setting and the setting can be found in the advanced settings. And there we will find the setting for our shadows in the advanced transparency options. So we set the shadows to caustic shadows and by doing so we tell Final Render to use a different method to calculate the shadows. When we now render we see the shadows are pitch black. That's fine for now because there's still another step we have to do. But the important step is we need to turn every material and say okay please generate caustic shadows for this object. So now we've done that for all the spheres we render and all shadows are pitch black. That's fine for now because the illumination inside of the shadow area should come from the uh, refracted light beams. And we are going to do the next important step. Let's have a look at the objects. First, you want to check if the object properties or attributes are set to receive caustics and cast caustics. By default, Final Render does that, but it's always a good idea to make sure that your objects, you actually want to have caustic effects to um, set them to cast caustic effects. It's also a matter of optimizing your scenes. So the next step is the light. We need a photon emitter and we have to select the light and in the light, caustics and global illumination, we need to turn on emit photons. So now you would think, okay, let's have another render, but still everything is pitch black. Now we have the photon emitter, we have the material set up, so what's missing? The only missing part is now in the render setup. Fire Render has a special setup called GI and Caustics. In this tab, we can uh, access the GI and Caustic settings. And globally, we can turn them on and off here with Enable Caustics. We do so and keep all the settings for now uh, in their defaults. And there we go. We see the photons right now. So what we see here is just a little bit or a bunch of photons. And uh, we can adjust several parameters. So uh, let's just go with the radius, for example. These little fine uh, photons we see here are so um, fine because of the radius. We increase the radius and now the interpolation works better. And now we have to actually do the accuracy as well. Bump that up and there we go. We have our classic caustic effects. The shadow areas show the nice focal point of the light beams. And all is controlled with these parameters. So the accuracy and the radius. 
The radius is the search radius for the photons that you want to interpolate and the accuracy is the actual interpolation quality of the photons it uh, searches. But as we can see, I reduce the radius here, we have only a few photons. Let's pump this up to 50,000 and don't be afraid. Fire Render is one of the fastest caustic uh, generators you can get on the market. So 50,000 photons is nothing. It, it just renders like a snap here. And you can see we already have more. But how about 500,000 photons? So from the light source, we now send out 500,000 photons. And now we get a real nice gradient and we can already see the gradient and the detail in the photons itself. You might wonder about the edge or wedge you can see in the Cossacks. That's because we use a spotlight with an opening angle. Uh, but we are not uh, caring about the spotlight right now, but you, you could deal that with the uh, changing the opening angle. But that just shows you how accurate our photons are collected. So same deal, we increase the radius to collect more photons and now we get much much more detail in our caustic effects a much nicer gradient and um, detail we can see in the shadows so accuracy also helps a lot because by using more photons to calculate the actual gradients to interpolate gives you a real nice detail so <clears throat> Let's talk about how or what else is affecting our caustic effects. Obviously, it's the light is affecting our caustic effect. So if we change the position of the light or the angle it shines on our objects, let me just turn on the target. We obviously will also have a change in the shadows and a change in the caustics and the focal point will also move on the floor. So keep that in mind, your position of the light defines the focal point and how light beams are focused on the floor plane. Another thing that affects uh, the caustic effect is the material itself. It's the index of refraction because refracted light beams focus in a specific point on the floor. So the distance to the floor, distance to the object and the index of refraction defines where your focal point is and how your caustic effects look like. So another thing to keep in mind, position of the light, light angle, opening angle, light intensity, and the index of refraction affects your caustic effects. If you are working in a physically accurate environment, so you use the correct IORs uh, for glass or water or whatever, you, you always get the photorealistic result you would expect. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and check out our other videos.